So good night, pun pun was not the uh, real anime or manga there. Uh, all right. So uh, <laughs> they're probably somewhere at alternate lifetime. Uh, it's about uh, it's about uh, a guy who likes saying puns. Oh my god, it's my life. Oh my god, the existential crisis. <laughs> The existential crisis I just had right now where I just made up my own slice of life anime and it's about me. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to episode number three. Three. That's, oh, that's three. two. Yes. Okay. That's <laughs> un de toi. <laughs> it's already hitting me. It's already hitting both of us. Hello. Uh, we are here. Uh, my name is Thessel B, and uh, that over there to my left, uh, to my stage right, is Jackie, <laughs> the uh, the healthy one of our uh, our duo. I'm the dysfunctional, uh, crazy one, and she is the uh, up and bright person. Uh, yeah, she's not <laughs> at all with with that <laughs> oh with that oh, giant. Wow. But today, <laughs> today we're finally both uh, able to uh, enjoy our um, apple apple juices. I almost applesauce, uh, apple juices of choice, uh, and we will be uh, having fun over this next hour, which uh, I will call a now a therapy session, uh, especially after the slice of live anime that I watched and the slice of anime that I'm sure that Jackie watched um during her during her time away from our two weeks uh two week break uh this is the reason why we try to go over two weeks is so we can get everything done and i haven't done it <laughs> uh but yes uh today so yeah we're going over a size live animes that we watched uh we're gonna go over a little bit of fun game with uh me and jackie here uh we're gonna go over two real real size live mangas and one uh fake manga uh, we're going to go over the Sailor Moon pilot by Saban. And Jackie's cringe face is going off because we talked about it before. And it was very cringe. Uh, I hope I can maybe play in like the corner, like very translucent. So that way everyone can see it. But uh, but yeah, it's it's straight 90s. Not it's 90s, right? That's when yeah. Power Rangers came out. Yeah, 90s. Um that whole shenanigans and then uh we'll end off with our next episode's topic which will be a surprise for jackie because i have not said it yet to her and it's gonna be yeah. fun uh because it's not halloween yet but halloween will be horror month for us so we're gonna go i there's a specific author that i really want to dive into during halloween time for us for whenever we do this halloween pot whenever we do these halloween times that I think you'll enjoy. I know I will enjoy too. So, Jackie, over the last two weeks, you have watched an anime of the slice of life variety. Uh, what is yeah. the anime? What was the anime? I should say that uh, we I have watched Lucky Star. Lucky Star. Okay, I watched like seven episodes. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I watched Lucky Star. It's still getting the ball rolling, but it's. It's really good. It's pretty hilarious. So, what is the main conceit of Lucky Star? What is the main What is the main um, plot line? It's, just, it's about these four high school kids. Um, you wouldn't think that they were in high school because they look like they're twelve, but they're so cute. And it just goes <laughs> through like their day to day life. Um, there's no real plot that I know of so far. I mean, I'm only seven seven episodes in. It's literally just like here they are in class talking about how to eat um, a cone shaped pastry. And then like a couple episodes later, they go back to talking about the pastry and they're like, the bottom looks like a butt because it has chocolate in it and it looks like a butt. And are they, are they eating <laughs> drumsticks? So like what the hell? It, it uh. Yes. No, it's a pastry. I don't know how to explain it. I don't remember what it's called. Is it a cannoli? Is it a cannoli? As a, no, no. It's not. It's not an Italian oh, cannoli. Cannoli. No. <laughs> it's not a cannoli over here. Leave an anime. Take a cannoli. It honestly though, like, 
it's just a really cute feel good anime and like one of the main characters i'm really bad at names so um my bad I, i'm just gonna say one of the characters um she's a like character. a huge mm-hmm. otaku and i'm like oh my god that's us because she also does is like talk about <laughs> anime and like read manga and play video games i'm like yeah i like her of course you would it would you'd you gravitate more gravitate gravitate <laughs> gravitate Welcome to Tony. Also, uh, falls and falls in and out of accents. Uh, no, uh, you you would gravitate toward the uh, the uh, atok- otaku. <laughs> Hello, can you speak today? This is gonna be a fun month. This is gonna be a fun hour. <laughs> uh, all right. So you got at least seven episodes into it. Are you gonna continue yeah. on with it? For the next uh, for the next yeah. couple weeks, okay. How many seasons? To. It's been like ten years. Oh, there's one season that I know of. There's like twenty four episodes, twenty six. But I started watching this anime like ten years ago. Oh gosh, it's an old one. But I have I was like stuck on episode four for the longest time because that was when I had to watch anime on like the really sketchy websites <laughs> that give you viruses. Uh, Dailymotion.com. So yeah exactly so now that it's on Funimation I could watch it and I just found out that they're coming back from like an eight year hiatus so they're going to continue the series which means that I have no choice but to you know finish it maybe that should be a topic for one of our episodes since all these animes are coming back since uh, since Sony has officially bought up like all the anime for uh, Japanese viewers and uh, I don't know if you know that but Sony uh, owns literally Sony owns like every anime like they own Crunchyroll and Funimation, so that's why Crunchyroll and Funimation are pretty much together now and hand in hand. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, that's the thing that happened over the past I think few years, and uh, no one cares because it's Japan and everyone's like, oh, like <laughs> here in the states would be like, oh, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> you own too much yeah. anime, sir. Uh, you need to calm down. <laughs> It's like someone in the background. It's like some like nerd in like a basement. It's like, <laughs> sir, you own way too much anime. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I um, end up watching. Um, I think I fr- okay. I I saw the Japanese name and I I'm going to look this on my phone because I have to look up every single goddamn time to make sure I'm saying it correctly. Uh, so I'm going to stall for time. Um, if you could uh, sit there and uh, uh, drink uh, while I stall for time here. Ah, here we go. Found it. All right. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. Yes, we didn't get a chance to stall because I'm so <laughs> good at finding things. Uh, love is hard for otaku. <sighs> that title hits a little close to home. <laughs> that title hits a little bit. That <laughs> title hits so close to home that I got beaten by the stick, like literally as I watched the first episode, um, it followed. And this isn't like a high school size of life anime. This is like, this girl is in the actual like real world. And she has a job uh, where she realizes that her, like, I guess in her last, I want, <laughs> sorry, I'm still dying. Uh, I only made it through one episode so far. Uh, before I was like, I'm not in the actual mood for this because this is, this is resembling my life way too much. Um, so she lost her last job because of her ex-boyfriend or something like that. And she was outed as an otaku. So if no one knows what otaku means, it means that you're really nerdy into like anime. And like you were like in the weeds with anime. Like you're in the trenches with anime. So... Um, she gets found out. She gets found out. She gets embarrassed. Um, but during the first episode, she meets one of her high sc- or middle school friends, who she knows is a fucking like absolute nerd, like an otaku himself, and that guy is me. <laughs> and then so they they're literally sitting there. I'm gonna describe the first episode for you, like in like pretty much full. So she gets a job. She wakes up late for her first day of work, and she. I'm going to visit this neighborhood one day in Japan where it's like all those freaking houses and like you hear like the the cicadas buzzing like in the springtime and summertime. 
that whole entire like residence that's in every single damn anime <laughs> out there that's like <laughs> you run like a mile down the street and there's a train and they top on a train yeah she was that i want to visit that neighborhood one day uh and then i'll take a picture there uh anyway so uh she goes on the train and then she ends up meeting uh her boss or her supervisor first thing she says about her boss Wow, she's so powerful and beautiful, and she has big boobs. And <laughs> mind you, she is in like a suit, like a like a dress suit, like looking thing, and it zooms in like for a side angle of like where she's looking, and you can see like her boobs like out. That's a boob, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about boobs, boobs. <laughs> I don't know about boobs. <laughs> for for the uh, audio listeners. Uh, it's I'm drawing a square with my hand apparently because I think that's how boobs look now apparently I haven't seen them in such a long time that that's what a boob looks like to me um, <laughs> <laughs> so she's like at a cycle she goes like oh my god her boobs are so big I was like what is this who is this girl like she's way too horny to be like a significant like player in society <laughs> pretty much um, so it turns out that you know she uh she sees the middle, middle school friend like in the hallway and she's he's walking with like, another co-worker who has like super duper like orangish red hair. And I think, oh, he's he must be like the nerd, the nerdy guy, like the attack guy, the guy with the, the crazy like red hair. Turns out mm -hmm. he might be later on, I guess. I don't know if like her and like the boss lady like have like a thing because it's in like the title uh, or the uh, theme 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 song of this episode. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's uh, it turns out that she, the boss lady, is a cosplayer. And mm -hmm. meanwhile, she's into like her herself, like she's a taku. Her boss is the taku, and her best friend from middle school is also like a nerd, and they play Monster Hunter. <laughs> this game that they play on there, it looks like <laughs> it literally is Monster Hunter, like except like just very few changes on there. So they're sitting at a bar and they're drinking and he's like, she's like, oh, I'll never find love. I'll just think I need to find like a nerdy guy, like an otaku and all this other stuff. And then she like looks at him and she raises her glass, raises his glasses. And he looks like, you know, hot as fuck, like, you know, attractive, like yeah. attractive, nerdy, like uh, protagonist guy. And she goes, you're not my type. <laughs> 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 and I was just like. And he goes, another round, please. <laughs> and then he just like he like shoves it off, or whatever. By the end of the episode, uh, they end up they end up saying like, oh well, all right, let's let's do this, let let's date, right? So that's where I've left off. And the next episode is uh, called "So We're Dating Now" or something like that. So I can't wait to watch that second episode once I feel more better about myself <laughs> and not more better more yes better. more better about myself all right this is that's uh that's how i felt about that that's how i felt about that uh that anime i was like all right slice that anime it's gonna be cute it's gonna be romantic and it's like psych? and then, yeah psych it's actual adults haha <laughs> -ha. it's not high school kids you can't you have to relate now because they're in the actual job haha -ha. Um, so yeah, that was my, uh, mental breakdown for the past two weeks. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get out my notepad. How does it make you feel? Uh, you know, uh, it makes me feel like I need more drink. Uh, cheers to that. Cheers to, uh, being a romantic, uh, single guy over here of the nerdy life. Um, yes. So, um, that brings us into our next segment. Which will be a fun little quiz for Jackie. I'm going to have fun with this. Um, I have three different manga titles for you. All okay. right. Two of them are real. One of them is a fake one that was made up with a random uh, name generator. All right. So okay. these are like the top. Top manga for slice light and romantic animes. All right. All right. So first one, you're going to go with 
This is the English title for this manga, by the way. I'm not doing the Japanese titles because I drank and I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to read Japanese <laughs> and be terrible. I can only, I can, all right, I'm very bad at Mandarin. I'm not going to try for Japanese. All right. Um, so it's going to be Kisses After Heaven, My Dress Up Darling, or Good Night Pun Pun. Pun pun. I'm gonna say the first one is fake. I already know that my dress up darling is real. Mm. The last one, I don't know. It just it has a realness. Like, it has a realness to it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, too bad that realness is fake. Dang it! You are O for one so far. Uh, Kisses uh, after heaven is a slash life anime, <laughs> and so is uh, my dress up darling. So, good night, pun pun was not the uh, real anime or manga there. Uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> they're probably somewhere at alternate lifetime. Uh, it's about a uh, it's about uh, a guy who likes saying puns. Oh my god, it's my life! Oh my god, <laughs> the existential crisis. <laughs> the existential crisis I just had right now, where I just made up my own slice of life anime. <laughs> And it's about me. Is it a romance? <laughs> no, it's it's not. Oh no. It's it's Death Note. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Hold on, let me let me just straighten my hair a little bit here. That way. Whoa. <laughs> all right <laughs> the next one uh we're gonna go with um these uh all right so three titles again uh two of them are real one of them is fake all right okay all right we're gonna go with uh mutant heaven b stars and real life uh the first one is fake you are absolutely correct. Mutant Heaven is not an anime or manga <laughs> at all. That one was a givey. I almost watched Beastars, to be honest with you. I was like, should I just I watch Beastars? Good, and the, the theme song for it is really good. Like, Arya loves it. Oh, speaking of theme songs, I forgot to say this during the during while I was talking about the anime. That damn theme song for that my for the anime that I watched, uh, no love life for Nataku, whoever it was. It's that fucking one where all the girls are like, I'm going to do this like motion for like next day until like I have a boyfriend. Have you seen that trend? What? Please tell me you've seen this no. trend. It has a theme song. I, I did a TikTok today of it where it okay. has it has the main like chorus of the theme song. But the uh, the characters in the anime are like doing like this, like this, like this, like thing. Where they they have like this hand motion. And so for audio listeners, I'm doing the hand motions. Look it up on my TikTok uh, or look it up at anyone's TikTok for that that theme song. Um, and they they do it. And like girls on the anime or girls on the anime, girls on the TikTok <laughs> right now are doing it. So we were like, oh, hey, like. Um, hold on. <laughs> That sounded so old, Grandpa. Girls on the TikTok. On the TikTok. Not just TikTok. Girls on the TikToks and the interwebs. These anime ladies on the TikToks and the uh, <laughs> and the on the on the reheels. <laughs> on the Snapchat. How old are we, man? Uh, well, first off, I'm uh, I'm I'm I believe we established that you are uh, you look 21. All right, but you are actually a thousand-year-old uh, demon uh, that came from the future to come to the past. Uh, to Gee, so I'm even older. Yeah, yes, but you look 21. Oh. Yes, so <laughs> as as the uh, <laughs> we're talking about the, the TikTok TikToks we were talking about, about the, TikToks. the TikToks. So all right, our uh, so we now have we have two more. Two more, uh, two more questions or two more trivia rounds for you. You are officially okay. one for two in the uh, anime manga quiz show that we have here. Uh, we are going with the next one, which is uh, 
I totally I totally misspelled this one. Uh, fantastic need, silver spoon, or sweetness and lightning. Uh, silver spoon, sweetness and lightning sounds like something I would watch. Okay, is that your final answer? It's my final answer. Can I phone a friend? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Josh, come here. <laughs> I need to, I don't go. <laughs> I need I need some anime help. Um no, it was actually a fantastic need. Uh that was the fake anime. I would have picked that, but then I got a little suspicious because I've been picking every single first answer. Oh and god. I was like, mm, maybe I should pick C. <laughs> May like this like isn't a hard this isn't a Harvard, okay? I don't this isn't the Harvard or like UCLA like thing of like Oh, yeah, if you choose B or C, you have a 50% chance of getting it correct. Well, you, I didn't know that. Now I do. All right, give All me right. the last one. All right, so the last one is... Uh, so you're uh, one for three. Uh, so the last one is Love is War, Comey Can't Communicate, or Lucky Star? The first one. You're incorrect. They're actually all real. Love is War. What? Love is War is the great one where uh, it takes place in a high school and the uh, girl on the student council. It's a great one. It's she. OK, I think she's the vice president and the guy is the president and they are very uh, antagonistic toward each other, but they end up falling in love with each other. Ooh, I love enemies to lovers. Yes. I'm going to watch that one. I've seen the, the other two. That's why I was so like. <laughs> first one i know i just want to try to trick you because i didn't have a fake one for the last one suck. i didn't have a fake one for the last one i kind of fucked up and i i ended up uh, i win yes it wasn't fair <laughs> i had cheated on you ha 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 celebratory drink celebratory drinks mm. <laughs> all right that was a fun little segment uh jackie went uh she won after that last one automatically she wins uh, you win the prize. Because I saw two out of three. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's like a 70 something percent. What's that's prize? fascinating. Uh, your prize is a free round trip to uh, California one day. I don't know when. Yay! So you, at the end of the month. Yeah, at the end of the month, pretty much, right? <laughs> Where we will end up, well, hopefully, I if I can end up sealing you away for like a day, we're going to go have fun at like a. At a what do you call it? A thing for anime. A thing for anime. I'm gonna have to just like, I'm gonna give my kids to my parents. Mm -hmm. Just be like, all right, peace out. We're gonna go to the Final Fantasy bar, <clears throat> and uh, and do a it's vlog a bar? there. Yeah, it's in Anaheim. Oh, we've been there. Oh fuck! Uh, I it was a bar. I think it's a well, it's something. It's either a bar, or like a tea house, or it's something a like that. Place. You said Boba place? Um, I went Boba. I went there at like early 2021. So it was like still full pandemic. Uh, like you were only allowed to be in there if you were waiting for your drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yes, we will find. We thought, there's also a place called uh, Geeky Geeky Teas up there in, uh, in mm. Beverly Hills. That, Beverly uh, Hills. Exactly right. And. <laughs> We'll find something anime nerdy to do, and we'll do a vlog about it, and we'll post it on the. I'll post it on yours, since you're the vlogger, yes. and I'm the the nerdy anime guy who talks about anime and shit on his <laughs> channel. Uh, anyway, all right. So on to the next segment. So um, there was a YouTube channel that, uh, <laughs> and Jackie's cringe face <laughs> comes back for like two seconds while we're talking about this because it was bad. Um, it's so bad. It was a. I think. I think it was by Saban. I didn't watch the whole entire like series because there's a two part series. Um, where it was <sighs> the American, the American version of Sailor Moon, brought to you by Saban, who were the people who did Power Rangers. So that explains that you were during your first text message to me. After I told you to watch this, why do these people look like they're not in high school? I think, or something like that. They, they're old. <laughs> so were the kids that were in uh, Angel Grove. So 
You have to remember that they they were literally like, I think they were in like the mid twenties or something like that, and uh, they they were playing high school kids. Um, so it was. But they a, didn't even try. They did not even try, and they, like the fact that there was like a music video that accompanied it, like during the whole entire thing. It's like Sailor Sailor Moon or something like that. Like I I I the, I have blocked out my memory as to how bad that theme yeah, song was. Yeah, me too. Uh, hey, guess what the outro uh, theme is going to be for today's episode? It's going to no. be that song. It has to be that song. Oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry to you viewers. Oh my gosh. Uh, viewers and listeners. And, and listeners, listeners, young lady. So Okay, listeners. You're, <laughs> you're being for a treat. I know that my face, my face is just not. It's not okay. No. <laughs> uh, so yes, it is a it was a pilot episode for um, Saban Saban's version of uh, going through uh, with bringing Sailor Moon over to the states. Um, that was not and anim- which it wasn't anime. So yes, uh, <laughs> Jackie, I believe you have a question. Yes, Jackie, go ahead. Yeah. So um, first off, why are they in like a Catholic? Is that their way of saying, oh, look, they need to have uniforms just like <laughs> the Japanese version. Let's go to Catholic school. And they're like dorming. And second of all, why is Luna a white fluffy cat? That makes zero sense. Artemis is supposed to be the white cat, not Luna. Um, third, why the heck is her name Veronica? Veronica. Because uh, what? Oh, my God. What's what Sailor Moon's Japanese name? Um Uza, um, Usagi. Usami, right? Usagi. Usagi. Because uh, Americans can't say the word Usagi and not think yeah, of like, something Serena, soggy. Soggy. Serena was already uh, like, come on, Queen Serenity. Serena, I, come on, you guys. I'm like 95% sure that this pilot was shot before the before. dub before the dub version came over to America. And was played on repeat. Like, hey, Vicky. <laughs> I know, right? She pops, she pops in the door. She goes, hey, Vicky, did you forget about the dance? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are the Sailor Scouts going to the dance, first of all? Why are Sailor Scouts even, like, and they look so angry. They're like, you, like, after, like, they, they transform, right? They transform into their animated characters. And when I say animated characters... I mean, like, American animated characters, like He-Man, yeah. He-Man female versions of their anime counterparts. <clears throat> also, a glaring fact that we have oversought for this, like, entire thing. They are riding on actual sail boats. Sail, sail they, skis. They have <laughs> transportation. Like, do you know how easy that would have been for the real Sailor Scouts? Yeah, we could just And the fact on. that they just go, they're like, let's go to this planet. They need our help. Let's to hop on our gliders. What? Our sailor gliders what over is, here. What is this? Not only are they all, well, most of them. Wait, hold on. No. Was there? I was going to say they're all white, but they're not. No. I've, yeah. Sailor um, Mars is black. Sailor Mars is black. Wasn't Sailor Mercury Asian? No, wasn't she a ginger? No, I think that was a girl in the wheelchair. Yeah, she was. That's Sailor Mercury. That was Sailor Mercury. Yeah. Oh my god! I didn't even know. Sailor Venus was the brunette, and she was the one that came in the, <laughs> the beginning. Like, hey, Vicky, Veronica, <laughs> let me have your makeup. I think it might have been Sailor okay. Jupiter then. No, no. Sailor Jupiter okay. was. Yeah, I think that's. Oh my god! This was such a know. bad. It was so like, bad. Like I, I have seen a lot of bad things in my lifetime. Like I've seen porn quality and anim- acting. Like this is like one step above porn level acting. And I didn't look at the IMDBs to see if any of these like people acted. I I did for uh Sailor Mars. Yeah. I did for Sailor Mars and she ended up like doing like a whole bunch of like background work or whatever. Like not I don't think she starred in actually anything. But um but yeah, it was just uh, it was a fun thing to watch. I'll leave a link below, of course, mm-hmm. in the. Uh, it wasn't fun. It was it was <laughs> hilariously, and the, I, I'll leave a link to the IGN article that goes and breaks down all of this. Um, but yeah. 
<laughs> that was our Sailor Moon adventure that almost uh, that almost broke the two of us. Fun. Quote unquote fun. Oh, not fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, so to close out uh, this week's episode or this this episode episode three number two. Uh, we are going to uh, go over our next uh, theme. So as we do every single week or every single, not every single, I keep on saying every single week because I. Bi-weekly. Uh, bi-weekly. Every bi-weekly. Um, <laughs> we're not weekly. We're bi-weekly. <laughs> For like your really bad paycheck. <laughs> Very sad paycheck. <laughs> we make zero dollars off this, and I meanwhile have to pay for all of this, all including right. Jackie, including Jackie's hair now that uh, gets styled now every single week, like an anime character that she is. Um, that's what this, that's what the money's going to go to. By the way, is if we ever do like a Patreon and we ever start getting money, it's going to go to your uh, to your hair. My hair for the next episode. Yeah, what's Jackie's hair color gonna be for next episode? Leave a comment below. Um, <laughs> all right, for our next one. I, so, uh, because I am uh, completely and totally lonely in life right now, uh, I want to, and I saw this while I was looking for the size of life anime. I saw an anime that reminded me of this uh, type of uh, genre. This would be really funny to talk about. I want to do a yaoi. Okay. Yes, that's right. I want to do one Not episode. It is. I I find it hilariously funny. Um, it's we don't have to watch an entire season. I just want to pick one, one of the top ones. I kind of really my my friend, my old roommate. Uh, I I kind of want to watch Yuri on Ice. That that's kind of reason why. Uh, and the reason the reason why I saw this one was because I saw Gravitron. Um, I have no idea what that is. Okay, so back when I was younger, I was a wee lad of a teenager. Um, I used to buy Shonen Jump magazines that were here in America because um, they sold, and I was like, "Oh, cool anime! Like, I'm gonna buy this." And one of them had Weird. a preview of Gravitron. I had no clue what Yao like Yaoi was back in the day. Google that. Gravitron. I think it's called Gravitron, like Gravit Graviton or something like that. Yeah. Well, first of all, Gravitron is an amusement ride. <laughs> <laughs> I have been drinking. Okay, leave me alone. Uh it's gra <laughs> it's grab something. Grav gravitation. Gravitation. There we go. That's probably what the it's called. The Yaoi manga series written and illustrated by blah, blah, blah. The story follows the attempts of blah, blah, blah. Bat. Okay, he has a band uh -huh. to be the next musical sensation mm -hmm. and struggles to capture somebody's heart. Okay. Yes. And uh, if you guys don't know what Uranice is, Uranice was a uh, anime that uh, kind of got popular popular in uh, because it was so like fantastical and very beautiful um, and very yaoi. Um, oh, that was very popular during my Tumblr days. So during your Tumblr, <laughs> God, am I going to actually deep dive into Tumblr now and be like, I want to research this yaoi to. thing. <laughs> I want to. I really do want to. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun topic for next episode, uh, only because this one was our therapy episode. <laughs> yeah, true. We had to have one therapy episode at least once a month. Um, and of course, uh, all of Halloween month, uh, the two episodes we're going to do during October are going to be themed for Halloween and horror. So there is a manga artist uh, that is super duper well known for horror. And I would like to read uh, some of his stuff. I want you to read it as well. Don't let your kids see it because it is very gruesome and very graphic. Um, it is don't also everyone out there listening. Hey, don't let your kids look at horror anime especially drawn because it is absolutely terrible and disgusting uh, i will be reading they will it end up like me yes i'll end up like her yeah. <laughs> and needing therapy <laughs> podcasts <laughs> um 
so that'll that'll be it for this episode of uh the weeaboozies i didn't say at the top of the episode where i named the named the title of the the podcast i didn't say we're weeaboozies it's right there along the center of the that's uh, that's what we are yes we are weeaboozies we are we are the ones who drink oh my gosh i had to explain to josh the boozies part really about our podcast today he, I was like, oh, I need alcohol. And he's like, no, you don't. I'm like, that's the whole point. We the boozies. Come on, we the boozies. Uh, it's, we're nerdy boozy <laughs> yeah, people. <we> um, <laughs> low key. <laughs> boozies. This, this like little word I hear, boozies. I was thinking it was something silly to call it. And I thought there were koozies. Like we the, should get koozies. <laughs> <laughs> Put on our drinks and then drink on the podcast yes once we get uh, an actual uh an actual design for a for a symbol or something like that for a logo um which hopefully will be within the next month or so i'm i'm holding myself to it to make an actual label for us an actual like artwork for us to put on the uh put on the uh podcast um that'll be fun um oh hey artsy friends this is your opportunity to submit hmm. your cool fan art <laughs> yes your cool fan art of uh me and <laughs> oh god i don't i'm always afraid of like asking for like, any type of artwork because i'm like oh no like i've never had someone actually draw me like that like someone's interpretation of me i've never ha- i'm very like i'm very uh very uh shy about it like Yes, I might be Thank very, you. I am very outgoing on this podcast. Uh, I'm a host of a, um, I'm a co-host with Jackie here. It's mainly just me talking to Jackie about her stuff and me like saying a few words about me. Uh, that is how I do things. Uh, but I am super duper like introverted extrovert. I am the opposite and, and polar opposite of uh, each other. Uh, meanwhile, Jackie over there is completely introverted and I have to, that's why I sit here and aggressively talk to her and be like, no, I'm going to yeah. pull more out of you for this. To get... yeah. It's not about it's content. It's about you talking. <laughs> so... <laughs> so that is the reason why we also drink during this, uh, or at least I'm yeah. going to try to start drinking during this. Is so that way we can, uh, uh, well, first off, so that way I can have a little bit more fun during these and not have to worry about going to work afterwards. Uh, that's why we like doing these on Tuesdays. Uh, so we to let down the wall of, uh, of disassemblement. Uh, we do these on Tuesdays or Wednesdays and we post them up on Thursdays. So that's our usual schedule. Uh, that's what we try to do now. So, um, that, uh, that's going to be the, uh, that's going to be it for the show today. Uh, <laughs> hard, hard cut before I start rambling and have my ADD. Okay, so recap. We're gonna do Yowie for the next episode. Yes, which so will be. What, what's our question of the day? Oh, our do question today is: Why are you single? Um. <laughs> <laughs> tell us why you're and how single. Does that make you feel? <laughs> and how does that make you feel? No. Um, <laughs> this week's episode is brought to you by the question of. Um, what is your favorite, uh, romance in anime? So, uh, between two characters, um, so like we talked about with, uh, love is war, uh, where I enjoyed the, uh, protagonists, uh, hating each other on the surface, but secretly underneath loving each other and wanting to absolutely snog face with each other. Um, <laughs> quote unquote, snog face with each other. I, I'm catching myself in my own words. And being like, this is a silly thing to say. Um, <laughs> you know, let's go with that. All right. Uh, Jackie, actually, let's ask you first. Also, what is your uh, favorite romance in an anime? Like what? Um, who Who are your like, who, who, who jumps out of you? Who jumped out? Who jumps out of you? Who jumps <laughs> out at you for uh, for uh, an anime romance? Um, mine's not canon, but. I really would Ooh, love fanfic. Zoro and and Perona. Oh, is it? Is this? Um, is this a fucking One Piece? Are you fucking? Are you? <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Did we? Did we make any One Piece references last episode? 
I don't. Yeah, we did. We probably did. Oh God. This is, <laughs> welcome to the One Piece reference moment of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have a little you graphic. Have to. I'm gonna have a little graphic that says, "Warning: This is a One Piece reference." I will make JoJo Look, references. You I'm can make One Piece to, references. I am going to talk about One Piece and beat it into you until you start watching it. You are going to watch this anime, <laughs> dang it. Meanwhile, 20 years later down the line, we love to see... <laughs> what was that one I liked on your thing, uh, on your Facebook page? Uh, 20 <laughs> years later? Like, I, can't, I can't wait to see Shanks fight. <laughs> and then 20 years later... <laughs> I, can't I can't wait, wait to, to see Shanks fight. Meanwhile, in the year 2030, I can't wait to see Shanks fight. <laughs> 12 years later... So your non canon is uh, is Zoro and uh Perona. Perona? She's my favorite little ghost girl. Okay. I okay, did you I'm I'm also curious as to um did you see this meme that was going around on the Twitter? Um that I don't know either. I, I would like someone to explain it to me. Um that something in one piece happened where someone had a penis. What? And I don't know. Like that is all I got from like the Twitter. Like, what? so Did on my penis? I, the end, <laughs> the penis cut to be continued. <laughs> we, we're gonna make a JoJo reference right here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wait. Yeah, it's it, it. It. I don't know where it came from. I'll let you search it up right now. Um. So Twitter. But <laughs> where am I looking? Uh, look up one piece. One piece, piece meme. Okay. okay. <laughs> I don't think One Piece penis is going to net you any searches for One Piece the anime. I'm <laughs> is here that are going to get you to song detachable penis. Um, I don't know. I, I see very funny faces from Jackie right now. Um, it was some like big large guy um, from like okay. the recent I, I'm assuming from recent episodes and it was like a, um, a like a Dutch angle of him from like below and it was referring to like a penis if i'm going crazy internet please tell me and it was on twitter i swear to you i've seen very censored graphic images of this uh of this anime character's genitalia i don't know but i just saw somebody posting about bts namjoon as zoro and like excuse me (sighs) Is he the one that's gonna be playing? Is he the is he the one no. that's actually okay? No, okay. In the, in the actual live action. No, I don't know. I don't see anything that could mean what you're talking about. That's so weird. I swear, like it, and it it got referenced like again, like last week. I I don't know what it was, but we'll uh, we'll all right. We're we're gonna close our one piece moment. We gotta close our one piece moment. We can't. <laughs> I will start making longer and longer JoJo references, okay? I can't stand this. We were supposed to be closing out this podcast like 10 minutes ago. Literally. I actually wanted to cut off at the 30-minute mark-ish. It is now the 47-minute mark. Hey! (laughs) If we can do the... the You're you're welcome, listeners and viewers. (laughs) Yes, you get more... You have more content than us rambling at the end of this uh, podcast where we don't have any structure at all. (laughs) Yeah, it's the ranting the part. We're gonna start like an OVA podcast. There's <laughs> gonna be two podcasts. It's gonna be this podcast that's structured and the OVA podcast where we're both in bikinis. Because <laughs> every single OVA, we are gonna have an OVA episode too, where we watch an OVA for an anime, and it's probably gonna be a swim, a swim, a, a swimming episode or a pool day episode. <laughs> It's always got to be one. It's always there's always going to be one. There's always going to be one pool day episode for every single anime, no matter what it is. Uh, Bleach had one too, I think. So I don't even know if One Piece did because I skipped the fillers. Uh, okay, first off, every episode is a bikini episode for One Piece. All right, Nami's in it. <laughs> that entire <laughs> season, that entire arc. Everything, everything after <laughs> the time skip, Nami's titties are just like boom. Sorry, and am I allowed to say that on the pod? I've said fuck like 14 times already. Oh. Like, you're fine. As long as it's not within the first minute, we're fine. Okay. Then it can't be I think then I it can't be it. like yes. <laughs> so um uh 
So yes, the ending credits for us right now. This is the ending theme song. Uh, we're going to play it right now as it goes. And it's okay. going to be great because it's from Sailor Moon, the pilot episode. So we're going to have it the sneak underneath American us. Version. Uh, for myself and for, of course, Jackie, uh, we will see you guys all next time. I want everyone to remember to subscribe to myself and, of course, subscribe to Jackie as well for all of her vlogs, all of her, um, what do you call it, uh, motivational uh, videos. They have motivated me uh, to Aww. at least be a little bit more healthy in my lifestyle and more mentally healthy. So I have her to thank for that all the time. That's the reason why she's here. It's because she's my therapy. <laughs> she's my she's my th my therapy teddy bear over there that I need to talk to and get get this otaku shit off my chest <laughs> for, the best, for the best 24 hours. Um, <coughs> uh, we are actually also uh, in audio form now too on anchor.fm. So that's anchor.fm slash weaboozies. That's W-E-E-A-B-O-O-Z-I-E-S. Uh, of course, it can be linked down there below in the actual uh, description of the YouTube video. Uh, we're also on Spotify as well. You can find it through the Anchor.fm app. Um, please be sure to go over there, follow the Spotify list. Um, we're not on Apple iTunes yet because I don't know how to do it. But one of these days, we're going to do it. God damn it. And it's going to be great. It's going to be a fun time. Um, the video will go up on Thursday. And the audio will normally go up uh, probably a few hours later. So it gives people to watch the video first and then the uh, audio form later on. So for, again, for me. Oh, also, don't forget to like uh, and uh, comment your uh, question of the day, which is right down there below which was, uh, who is your favorite romance in any type of anime? Doesn't matter if it's a mecha anime, a side slide anime, a horror anime, anything you want to do. Jackie did a uh, Jackie did a fan fiction version. Uh, I didn't give a choice because uh, fuck romance. Uh, anyway, uh, so <laughs> I will see you guys all next time. <laughs> we will see you guys all next time. And uh, that will close us out. Say goodnight, Jackie. Bye, guys.